Hello children, welcome you to our English lesson. Today you are going to learn how to describe graphs and charts. Here I do consider only about bar graph. So at the end of my lesson you will be able to describe a bar graph. In our day to day life, we find a lot of graphs and charts. So now look at the screen to see what they are. Pie chart, line graph, table, Venn diagram, bar graph or bar chart. Today my lesson is focused on bar graph. Okay children, now I am going to ask a question. Where do we find bar graphs? Yes, we can find bar graphs in schools, in hospitals, in banks, in police stations. In schools, why do we use bar graph? We use bar graph to analyze results. We analyze results of scholarship examination, O-level examination and also A-level examination. There we compare the results. In hospitals, we use bar graph to show the spread of diseases. The diseases like dengue and nowadays corona also. In banks, we use them to analyze profits. We take some years, check whether the profit is going up or going down by using these bar graphs. In police stations, we use to show the rate of accidents by using these bar graphs. Now you know the places where we use bar graphs. So today my lesson is on describing a bar graph. It means you have to look at the bar graph and write a paragraph about the bar graph. Let's look at the screen. Okay children, now I am going to help you to write your description. You can start with these language expressions. This bar graph shows. This bar graph illustrates. This bar graph represents. This bar graph depicts. This bar graph gives information about. Like that you can start your answer or description. Right? Let's see some examples to have further practice. This bar graph shows the percentages of students using different modes of transport to come to school. Look at the second example. This bar graph represents the leisure activities of some students in the southern province. Now here I have used this bar graph shows and this bar graph represents. Here you can see these words are given in the question itself or in the graph. So don't worry about these words. Okay. Now we are going to write the second sentence of our description. There, we are going to describe the two axes in the bar graph. Can you name other two axes? Yes, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. Here, you can see the horizontal axis is named as modes of transport. The vertical axis is named as percentages. Now, we are going to write that sentence. The vertical axis represents. Look at the example children. The vertical axis represents percentages of students. Now, we are going to write about horizontal axis. The horizontal axis represents modes of transport. My dear children, we can connect these two sentences, right? Look at the third example. 
the vertical axis represents percentages of students while the horizontal axis represents modes of transport. There we connect those two sentences using the word while. Right? Okay. Now let's move to the next slide to see some more language expressions. Here you can see highest, lowest or least. When you see these words my dear children, you may remember the superlative forms of adjective. That's why I have used the indefinite article the in front of those superlative adjectives. You may know these things. Look at the example. The highest number of boys like to play football. Second one, the highest number of students use train as their mode of transport. Now, look at the third one. The lowest number of girls like to play chess. Here also you can see some more superlative adjectives. Most popular, least popular. Look at the example. The most popular after school activity is swimming. The least popular after school activity is gardening. Let's move on. Maximum and minimum. Look at the example first. Maximum number of students engage in cricket. Maximum means a lot. A lot of students engage in cricket. Right? Minimum. Minimum percentage of girls like cycling as their after school activity. In maximum, you can see a lot of students and in minimum, you can see a few number of students. Okay? Now, let's move on. Majority and minority. My dear children, majority means a lot. Again, minority means a few. Right? Look at the example. Majority of the students engage in cricket. Minority of the girls like cycling as their after school activity. I am going to introduce something new here. The word equal. Right? Let's see how it is used in the example. An equal percentage of students like reading books and collecting stamps. Equal means, my dear children, same levels. Similar level of bars are in the bar graph, right? It means similar number of students for reading books and similar number of students for collecting stamps, right? Look at the second example. An equal number of boys like to play cricket and football. Now, this is how we have to use the word equal, right? Here, you can see higher than, lower than or less than. When you see these words, you may remember comparative forms, right? We use comparative forms to compare. Here, we compare two bars in the bar graph, right? Look at the example. The number of students who like to play cricket is higher than the number of students who like to play tennis. Here, we compare the two bars, tennis and cricket. There, we use the word than. Right? Look at the second example. The percentage of students who play cricket is lower than the percentage of students who play basketball. Here also you can see some more comparative adjectives. More popular and less popular. Let's look at the example. Playing cricket is more popular than playing tennis. Playing cricket is more popular than playing tennis. Right? In the second one, playing netball is less popular than playing badminton. Okay? Now, we have learned language expressions to describe our bar graph. Now, we came to the last sentence of our bar graph. Let's see. You can use these language expressions. According to the graph, it is clear that. Look at the example first. According to the graph, it is clear that the most popular after school activity is playing cricket. 
second one according to the graph it is evident that now these are same expressions same meaning is given right look at the example again according to the graph it is evident that the most popular after school activity is playing cricket like that you can write for the third one also it means according to the graph the most popular after school activity is playing cricket okay children now i think you learn language tips to describe the bar graph right with that idea now we are going to practice them more right let's move on to an activity before looking at the question my dear look at the bar graph first right here you can see the title of the bar graph what is the title personal qualities of a student in grade 10 b right now can you tell me the first sentence this bar graph represents personal qualities of students in grade 10 b right as the second activity we are going to write about two axes let's see the vertical axis is named as number of students the horizontal axis is named as qualities so shall we write about those two axes the vertical axis represents number of students while the horizontal axis represents qualities okay you can see the qualities are given there what are the qualities yes generous curious active friendly kind right now with that idea let's move to the question shall we read the question first filling the blanks using words given in brackets these are the words given in brackets vertical curious qualities generous friendly equal active higher lower kind lowest right now here what you are supposed to do is you have to fill these blanks using those words given in the brackets shall we read the paragraph first with blanks right the graph shows the personal qualities of some students in grade 10 b the horizontal axis represents blank while the blank axis represents number of students the qualities are generous blank 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 and kind majority of the students are blank the blank number of students are curious and blank number of students are active and friendly the number of students who are blank is 4 and it is blank then the number of students who are friendly and blank then the number of students who are curious i think you are ready with your pens and books so now it's your time my dear children hope you all have finished your writing so shall we discuss the answers okay the graph shows personal qualities of some students in grade 10 b the horizontal axis represents yes what is represented by horizontal axis the qualities very good qualities while the vertical axis represents number of students right the qualities are generous curious active friendly and kind now this is how you have to write the first two sentences in your description so look at the 
paragraph majority of your students are generous the blank number of students are curious now look at the bar curious in the bar graph yes you can see it is the lowest one so we can use the word lowest there the lowest number of students are curious n blank number of students are active and friendly so look at the two bars active and friendly there you can see they are in the similar level right so we have to put there the word equal an equal number of students are active and friendly the number of students who are blank is 4 now look at the graph again what is number 4 there yes it is the quality kind right so the answer should be kind there is for and it is blank then the number of students who are friendly right now look at the bar graph and look at the two bars kind and friendly right there the number of students who are kind is 4 and it is lower than the number of students who are friendly and blank then the number of students who are curious it is higher than right now this is the completed answer so i think you have done well right let's move to our next activity here also i have given a graph right there also you can see the title the access names now here we will see the question. The following bar graph shows the leisure activities of some students of the southern province. Study the bar graph and filling the blanks. Here also you have to fill the blanks but the words are not provided. Right? Here in some places you have to complete the sentence also. Right? Shall we look at the activity? The bar graph shows the you know how to write the first sentence the second one the vertical axis blank while blank you know what comes to these places right the leisure activities are blank the highest number of students blank which is blank for girls and 88 for blank the number of girls who like gardening is blank than the number of boys who like gardening. Here we have compared the two bars girls and boys also right. N blank number of boys like blank and blank. The blank leisure activity among these boys and girls is swimming. Now it is your time children. Fill these blanks. Let us discuss the answers. Right? You can see the graph here and we will check the answers. Right? This bar graph shows the... Right? Now you know the answer. It is given in the question itself. Right? This bar graph shows the leisure activities of some students of the southern province. Our second sentence is the vertical axis represents you can see percentages of students while the horizontal axis represents leisure activities. The leisure activities are you can name them cricket, gardening, swimming and cycling. Now we are coming to the second paragraph right. The highest number of students like swimming which is 85% for girls and 88 percent for look at the graph and see the answer yes for boys the number of girls who like gardening is blank then the number of boys who like gardening what about that one look at the gardening bar right we will come to the answer the number of girls like gardening is higher than the number of boys who like gardening n blank number of 
boys like cricket and cycling. So, look at the cricket and cycling bus. There you can see they are in the similar level. So, we can use the word equal there, right? An equal number of boys like cricket and cycling. The blank leisure activity among these boys and girls is swimming. Let's see. We can say the most popular leisure activity among these boys and girls is swimming. Now, this is how we have completed the answers, right? Let's move on to another activity. My dear children, in your O-level exam paper also, you can see these types of questions, right? Here, I have taken this question from 2017 O-level test 14, right? Shall we read the question first? The following bar graph shows the results of a survey conducted among 100 grade 11 students in a school about the choice of subjects for advanced level streams. Study the chart and write a description about their choices. Now, what you are supposed to do is you have to look at the bar graph and write a description about it. Use 100 words. How many words you have to use? You have to use 100 words. The following words will help you. Most, less, least, equal, highest, lowest, higher, lower. Okay, children. Now, you know how to start writing and what is the second sentence and what is the third sentence and how to start the second paragraph. Like that, you know the things, right? Now, shall we start writing? Yes, it's your time. Hope you have completed your writing. Here I have given a description. Let's read it. This bar graph shows the results of a survey conducted among 100 grade 11 students in a school about the choice of subjects for advanced level streams. We took this sentence from the question. The vertical axis represents the number of students while the horizontal axis represents the subjects. There are six subjects. They are Biology, Mathematics, IT, Art, Accounting and Music. The number of students who like Mathematics is higher than the number of students who like IT. Out of 100, 30 students have selected Biology as their advanced level stream. As a whole, the most preferred subject is Biology and the least preferred subject is music. Now, I am going to tell you some follow-up activities. They are revision 2 in page number 98 in your workbook. 2009 O-level paper, test number 14. 2012 O-level paper, test number 14. 2015 O-level, test number 14. And 2016 O-level, test number 14. You can do them leisurely. Okay, children, now we came to the end of our lesson today. Today, we have discussed how to describe bar graphs. I think now you can write a description about bar graph. Goodbye, children. Goodbye.